In a bold and pioneering move to make Ekiti State the knowledge and innovation capital of Nigeria, the governor of the state, Dr. Kayo De Fawemi, has signed an executive order reducing the right of way charges related to laying broadband or any other telecommunications infrastructure from 4,500 to 145 naira per meter. Ekiti is the first state in Nigeria to comply with the National Economic Council's approved right of way charges for broadband thus becoming the cheapest state for broadband infrastructure investment as one kilometer of cable will now cost just 145,000 naira as against 4.5 million naira previously. According to the Special Advisor to the Governor on Investment, Trade and Innovations, Aki Oyebode, this decision will ensure equity achieves full broadband penetration by 2021 to attract new businesses, create jobs, improve access to quality health care and digital education while improving internally generated revenue. Joining us now is Akitunde Uyebode, Special Advisor, Investment, Trade and Innovations, Equity State. Good morning and thank you for joining us on the news. Thank you for having me. What would you say accounted for the decision at this time? Um, it's part of a broader plan. And our overall plan is to make, make it the innovation capital of Nigeria. Uh, to be able to do that, we need to ensure there's broadband access across the states um, and move the state very quickly uh, to become uh, one of the leading uh, states with regards to broadband penetration across Nigeria. So we're, we're setting up a knowledge zone, which is effectively uh, a thousand hectares of land, um, well built, well zoned, uh, with full infrastructure uh, for technology businesses to operate. Um, and the idea is to bring in companies like uh, Microsoft, like Huawei, like IBM, um, Interswitch, etc. Uh, but also young uh, startups uh, and founders who are building uh, the next generation of, of high quality products out of Africa. Uh, and then to top all of that up, it also leverages the, the heritage of Ikiti people who are seen to be a people um, with a thirst for knowledge. And it's essentially commercializing um, that attributes and making it uh, a commercially viable product. So. What underpins that whole infrastructure is, uh, is, the, is, is the access to broadband. Um, and we recognize that the cost of laying, laying fiber is in, in most cases prohibitive. Um, if you think about where that fiber has to come from, it's thousands of kilometers away. Um, at prohibitive cost of thousands of naira, it becomes uh, commercially unprofitable to the providers to come uh, to a place like Ekiti. So what we're doing is to improve the commercial attraction. Uh, but then on the back of that, we, we see that this will create thousands and tens of thousands of jobs. For example, we hope to be able to bring lots of business process outsourcing companies, uh, both local and international, to set up in Ekiti, leveraging the fact that we have five tertiary institutions in the states, but also uh, a lot more tertiary institutions in neighboring states. Um, so we are playing to our, what we consider our, our comparative advantages to be, um, and that's what really underpins this. But then outside of that, uh, we've seen with the effects of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic that broadband and the access to the internet is actually almost uh, close to a human rights at the moment. You know, we're seeing that inequality is even sharper than we thought with children who are able to uh, use the internet to learn, uh, not really suffering the disruptions that kids in the suburban and rural areas, uh, for whom internet penetration is still a, a myth. So how, um, how, soon, how I, soon do you expect to begin to reap some of these benefits you are highlighting? Um, I mean, we expect that by, by the... By the well, I mean, when, once the pandemic starts to ease and restrictions uh, start to ease, we expect that the lane of fiber will commence. Uh, we're already in conversations with three or four major uh, companies in the country, um, and those companies have signified interest uh, in coming to Ekiti. And this is all within the last 24 hours, by the way. Uh, and so we expect that by 
June or July, we'll start this process. Uh, but we, want, we, we have a roadmap where we expect to see full coverage by Q3 of next year. So all 16 local governments in Ekiti should have at least 3G connectivity uh, by, the, by, the, by the third quarter of next year. Were there any arguments against the reduction as announced by the governor? I mean, I think, I, I don't, I, I mean, I struggle to see what the arguments uh, can be. Um, obviously, there, there, there are concerns around a loss of revenue, but we think that as, as governments, we've got to think in terms of generations and not just immediate value to the state. So we have taken the decision to forego that uh, immediate income generating opportunity for the greater good of, <clears throat> of Ekiti people. Um, and for, for a much more prosperous economy in the future. So five, ten years from now, we want it to be said that some of the actions we took today drove the prosperity of the state. Even if we're no longer um, in government, which you know, we won't be, it's clear that this has happened because people uh, a decade ago uh, dared to dream. Uh, there are those who will also question you about the uh, shortfall uh, to your revenue generation when uh, this becomes, um, um, I mean, when this becomes practice. How would you, uh, you know, make up for that shortfall in revenue? Um, I mean, in our state, we're constantly looking for ways to, for example, cut the cost of governance. Um, some of our cost-cutting measures will become public knowledge fairly quickly. Um, and what we're doing is essentially to run a lean government. Uh, so first and foremost, run a lean government. But what you will see is that over even the next 18 to 24 months, you will see the investments that's coming into the state. So we're attracting revenues from different sources. Uh, we're, we're doing a lot of public-private partnership initiatives. Um, we, we, we're trying to see how we can bring affordable housing into Ekiti. Now, we're trying to do some work linking our farmers with off-takers um, and ensuring that those farmers can then produce and sell their crops uh, profitably. Now, all these economic activities will generate taxes for the state. So we, we don't think that the, the response to uh, the loss of revenue <clears throat> is to tighten and stifle investments. We think that it's to create, it's to widen, it's to increase the size of the pie um, and not just be a lot better with, with using a knife on what is still a fairly small pie. Right. So our focus is really increasing the size of the pie. And you'll start to see the, the effects of that within the next year or two. All right. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much for having me.